The bulk editor is a tool that helps you create and optimize campaigns at scale. If you're creating and managing hundreds or even thousands of campaigns, Pinterest's bulk editor will help you get your work done faster. Using a CSV file, you can create thousands of ads or make several edits offline and upload the spreadsheet to implement all of the changes at once. To get to the bulk editor, use the ads dropdown and select bulk editor. To make bulk edits, you'll need to download a bulk sheet, make your changes in the CSV file, and then upload it back into the bulk editor interface. You can download your existing campaign information to get started and specify what information you want to include. Or you can download a sample template, which is essentially a blank sheet with sample data. Your file will begin downloading under Downloads in your History of Changes. You'll need to click on Download Results to view the bulk sheet. If you only want to download a subset of information, for example, you only want to make edits to three campaigns, you can specify which objects to download from the Ads Manager reporting interface. Simply go to the reporting table, select the specific campaigns, ad groups, and promoted pins or keywords that you want to edit. Then select Bulk Sheet for editing or duplicating under your export options. Here, you can choose to export those rows to edit, or you can export a copy of those rows to clone. Now we have a spreadsheet with a lot of columns. We're going to talk about some of the most important ones. Column A is where you specify an action like create or edit. This action column tells us exactly what you want to do and helps us process the file more quickly. If a cell is left blank, then no changes on that row will be made. Row 2 in every bulk sheet is a reference row that includes a description of the columns and includes eligible parameters and special formatting required for each entry. This row should not be deleted. You'll notice that the rows are organized like our campaign structure, with ads underneath the ad groups and ad groups within campaigns. The first row represents the campaigns and is where you'll see all of your campaign details. Keep in mind, when you're editing existing campaigns, certain fields, like objective for example, can't be edited. The rows below are ad groups and ads in that campaign. You'll see the campaign ID here because that's what the ad group is associated to. On the right, you'll see all the ad group details including dates, budgets, targeting, locations, languages, devices and genders, and of course bids. Move another row down to find your ads you'll see that there are two ads in this ad group. Each one has its own row. Below that are keywords that correspond to the ad group. Because keywords are now a first class object, you can create, edit, and archive them just as you would a campaign, ad group, or promoted pin. You can also specify keyword level bids and match types. You can also specify match types for each keyword. You can't edit existing ones here, but you can archive and add new keywords with a different match type. When filling out a bulk template, the first thing you need to do is specify the action you're going to take in column A. You can create, edit, or archive objects. Keep in mind, in order to add new keywords to an existing ad group, you must create a new keyword. Every row must have an action filled out. If there's no action specified, the row will simply be ignored and no changes will be made. When you create a new campaign, ad group, ad, or keyword, leave the ID fields blank. IDs are generated once the bulk sheet has been uploaded. If you're editing an existing entity or creating something new within an existing campaign or ad group, you must specify the ID of the object you're editing or adding something to. This is how we know to map the new object or changes to the existing structure. When you create keywords, if the match type and bids are the same across all of the keywords in a given ad group, you can paste a comma-separated list of keywords into a single cell, and they'll be uploaded as individual keywords. If you want greater control and have keyword-level bids and match types, you can enter each keyword into a single row. If you leave the keyword-level bid blank, we'll just use the ad group bid. When you download your ad groups to edit, you'll see individual keywords assigned to a single row, making it easier to optimize. If you're only making edits at the campaign or ad group levels, simply filter out the keywords or download a bulk sheet without promoted pins or keywords data to help you streamline your bulk sheet. 
To finish up, return to the bulk editor page and upload the finished template. If you're creating new pins, you will also need to upload the file images. Keep in mind, new pins are saved to protected boards, which are similar to secret boards, except you can promote pins from protected boards. This is a great option if you want to test different creative, as protected boards can't be discovered by pinners. We recommend that you rename the protected boards you created to reflect the content on these boards. This is an important signal that helps us increase relevance for ad serving. One important call out, we process partial uploads. So if your sheet has some successful rows, but also a few errors, we'll go ahead and implement the successful rows. For this reason, you do not want to edit and re-upload your original sheet, as you might end up accidentally duplicating some of the successful rows. Instead, you should click on download results in your history of changes. In this sheet, we will automatically clear any actions for successful rows, so there's no chance of re-uploading anything. All you need to do is address the lines with errors, save, and re-upload that specific sheet. Select preview to see a summary of the edits. If everything looks right, select process to upload your changes. If everything uploads correctly or succeeds, then all of your changes were successfully implemented. You can confirm by refreshing your browser and checking an ads manager to see the new objects or edits. If the status shows errors when you've uploaded your file, you can download results to look at each row with an error. The rows that were successfully processed will say success and the action for the row will have been cleared out. There's no action for you to take on those rows. The rows that were not successfully processed will reflect specific errors and the corresponding action row will still have an action to take. These are the rows that you need to address. Simply make the edits in the downloaded results sheet and upload. Do not edit your original sheet and re-upload. Again, you might accidentally recreate campaigns, ad groups, pins, or keywords that were successfully uploaded the first time. Instead, make your changes on the downloaded results file and re-upload. Rows without an action status are ignored when the sheet's processed. The history of changes table logs all of your uploads and downloads. To help make sure you're always downloading the most up-to-date data, the downloads are only stored for 24 hours. Uploads, on the other hand, are stored for 30 days to help you track different changes over time. The order of the files will be in the same order in which they were processed. This way, if multiple people work in the same account, no one can overwrite each other's changes.